Wondering how to minimize the chances of getting a copyright strike on YouTube? Watch this video for five tips to keep your videos legal and safe. For the best legal tips and strategies for protecting your online business, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell thingy down here to get notified when I post new videos every single week. Hi, my name is Jim Hart and I'm the founding attorney here at Hawthorne Law. Since 2016, I've been helping online entrepreneurs to protect their businesses so that they can focus on building something that truly matters in the world. If you have a clip from a movie or another YouTube video or even an image that you really want to use in one of your videos, but you aren't sure whether it's going to earn you a copyright strike, then stick around because by the end of today's video, I'm going to share with you five tips and strategies that you can use to keep your content strike free. Safe. I want to thank Ian Corzine. He's an attorney. I've got a link here to a video that he did that explains these five ways to protect yourself from getting dinged on YouTube. He did a much better explanation than I could ever do, but I'm just going to go over them real quickly. Number one, comment on the work. Make sure you transform the, the work into your own. Number two, keep it short. Don't use extended sections of the work in your video. Just use small sections of the work in your video and you're much more likely to be okay when it comes to this. Number three, use the original work out of context. In other words, if the original work was cited for a certain reason and you took what they were doing and changed it into your own, it's not only transforming it, but you're also taking it out of context, then you're going to be much safer there. Number four, Ian provided a really great example of how you can modify the work to fit your own needs or to change it to be artistic and to give some expression to it. I think a great example of this was, as you can see, right there. I'm a Cleveland Browns fan and here is a link to a video where uh, some people took Rockies, the, the scene where Rocky and Apollo Creed are running and training and doing all that sort of thing and he put Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham heads on those characters. I love it. It's a perfect example of transformative a modification of the original Rocky uh, movie. <laughs> that video up here. Awesome. And then five, make sure you attribute the work. Make sure that you, if you do use somebody else's work in your video, make sure you use a link to that video. You can link to it up here in the, in the cards. You can include a link down in the descriptions. You know, you should include the name, the date it was published, where the, where, where you got the video from, link to the video, things like that. And again, in Ian's video, he does a really great job of explaining the MLA citation. So go ahead and, and use that and that, that'd be, you'll be, you'll be covered. Sorry to jump in here, but have you ever received a copyright strike? Comment below and let me know. All right, so what can happen if you violate somebody else's copyright on YouTube? Well, best case scenario, you're going to get demonetized and there's an appeal process for that. That has actually happened to me in the past. It happened once because I have a subscription to Epidemic Sound. My credit card expired and it was declined and I forgot to renew it with Epidemic Sound. And they, within a matter of days, they came in and, and found a couple videos that I was using their sound on and they submitted a claim and YouTube demonetized those videos. Now I submitted an appeal, I went to Epidemic Sound, I told them, hey, I, I re-upped my credit card, everything's cool, and everything was fine, and they and, and, and I won those because I had a license to use that, that music. That's the first thing, is YouTube can demonetize you. That's probably the best situation. The next step down from that is that you actually get what's called a copyright strike. If, if the violation is blatant enough, or if you appeal something and you lose, I believe that you, I believe that YouTube will then issue a copyright strike against you. If you get three of those suckers, then game over, your YouTube channel will be shut down. So you, don't want, you definitely don't want to get any copyright strikes on your channel. The third thing that can happen is you can get sued. We talked about this before. There are civil penalties. They are hefty if you violate somebody's copyright. So you don't want to get sued and you don't want to end up in federal court having to defend the copyright action. It's going to be bad news for you. And then the fourth thing, probably the worst thing that can happen is there can be criminal penalties. A copyright violation, copyright infringement is actually theft. You're basically stealing somebody's thoughts and ideas and words to monetize off of it. That is the definition of theft. So if you, you theoretically could go to, it's rare, but it could happen. You could go to jail for violating somebody's copyrighted work. There was a really great quote from a Supreme Court case back in the 80s called Harper 
Warren Rowe versus Nation Enterprises. And I think this really sums up the idea of what you can and can't do really, really well. It says, take not from others to such an extent and in such a manner that you would be resentful if they so took from you. It's basically the golden rule. Don't do to others what you wouldn't want them to do to you or vice versa. And I think that's a great way to think about this in terms of the copyright rules. If you are going to use somebody else's work, make sure you do it in a way that they would want you to do it. Or just ask some permission because that's frankly easier anyway. It takes a little bit more time, but it's easier. Now that you know exactly what to do to keep your videos strike free, I've written a quick one page cheat sheet that outlines all of these strategies that you can keep handy and at your desk while you're editing your videos and make sure you keep your videos safe and legal. The link is below. And if you haven't already checked it out, I did another video right here that explains what fair use is and the considerations that a courts would use if you ever got that far. And hopefully you won't. It's a great video that will help segue into this video. So check that out. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe and share it with all your online entrepreneurs and YouTube friends. And don't forget to comment below with a helpful if this video really helped you out. We'd appreciate that. Thank you so much, folks. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.